why is it that, that the Dalai Lama says before practicing the compassion, practice equanimity? That's, that's beautiful because I think that one of the big reasons people burn out is that they, they don't have equanimity, they don't have stability themselves in a loving presence, so they take on the pain and don't know how to metabolize it. Mm -hmm. And it builds up and, and then nobody in the institution cares about them. So I, I argue that in the flow chart of a, like a hospice or a hospital, emotional support should flow downward. Yeah. That everyone should be able to turn to their boss or their peers for help at that level in, you yeah. know, moving it through or dealing with it, or, and so that for the next person they can be more fully there. It goes the other way. You get their angst. In you. Exactly, exactly. Particularly if you have you're completely empathic and open but you don't have uh, stability internally at managing your own distress. Then you take it on and it builds up and you don't know how to let it go. How do you manage your distress? Your own distress? For example, if you have a sadhana, you could say that your daily practice is a way of emptying yeah. all that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it could be mindfulness, it could be bhakti, could, there are many, yeah. many paths. that help you do that, but it, it, it seems to me it argues for caretakers of every kind taking care of themselves first yes. in order to be able to care at this level. Yes, yes. Yeah.